Hi guys, this is Alex from Mesa Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to the channel. So last week I showed you what I made for Style Maker Fabrics and I hope you guys jumped in on that discount for shipping. I thought it was great. I actually got something so hoping gets here sometime this week or perhaps next. Not like I don't have plenty of uh, sewing to get done, but it is getting cold by us and I am, I'm on panic sewing sweaters. So I thought I would probably tell you a little bit about what sweaters I'm making and what are some great patterns that are out there. And also guys, keep in mind, I have, I have tried not to put any patterns with like big puffy um, sleeves because if you are in hardcore about to go into winterland and you're wearing a coat and you have all this extra fabric under your sleeves, that's just a pain in the booty to to stuff it in there. And you know, you're wearing like sweaters and scarves and hats and you just start getting uncomfortable. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just start getting uncomfortable with all those clothes and I just have to like run out of stores because I was just like, I can't take it. Um, so I have avoided any sweaters with with just big, big puffy sleeves. It's just, it's not my deal. It's really not. And there's quite a few of those out there these days, but I'm just not in love with those. So I'm not going to tell you about those. So, but first one on the list, and I've actually made this, I made it last year two, three times. And I already have another one cut on the table. I love this pattern, super easy to make. And that is the So How 7, the toaster sweater. Guys, great pattern to have. And I believe that she had released something pretty similar and it was Simplicity 8529 under Simplicity a long time ago. I think it was like 2018, 2019. Um, that pattern is no longer in print. So if you have it in your stash, you actually have this pattern. I have them both just because, don't ask me why, I just have them both. Um, I know that So How 7 releases some patterns under Simplicity. They have like a bib, um, a bib dress and something else that she currently sells on her site. It is under Simplicity also, and you can get those patterns. I've seen them numerous times on the drawers at Simplicity when I go to go get new patterns, but it's just not something that's calling out to me. But that toaster sweater, that's some good stuff. Um, and again, I've made it for myself. I have made it for my daughter. It's a great pattern to have. And guys, most of these patterns, two yards, yard and a half, yard and seven eighths, so also known as two meters, um, you can make this stuff. You can make this stuff and just have a nice garment. And also they are quick to sew. That's why I am um, panic sewing sweaters this week. So another great sweater. And you guys saw it last week. It is the Marlowe sweater from True Bias. And actually it looks like she's about to release another pattern and she also gave you a free pattern if you signed up for her newsletter but the Marlowe sweater is not free but it is a great pattern to have it's actually a cardigan and it comes in two different lengths in a cropped or a really long I think their longest length their long length is 39 inches long which was a little bit too long for me that's why I cropped um I cropped my pattern when I um, posted those pictures last week. I kept the four buttons. I love that. I ditched the pockets. I didn't think I was going to use them. Perhaps on another, I will. And I think I have some fabric and I'm going to make myself a, um, a Marlowe sweater. I had just seen this. I don't remember if it was an ad from G Crew or Banana Republic. I'll put a picture up. But it had this model in this like Kelly Green um, a sweater with these brown buttons and I'm like, ooh, Marlowe sweater. Totally can make it and I'm going to. 
but great pattern to have in your stash. It's not technically a sweater, but it's a cardigan, but I think it's a really good one that you should invest in it. I know I had made a pattern from Simplicity and I was actually not happy with it based on the neckbands. A lot of people had a lot of trouble gaping on the neckbands. I know what the problem is on it now, but um, get the Marlowe sweater. It's a good one. Get it as a PDF, get it as a printed pattern. It also, she has extended sizing, awesome pattern. And guys, as always, I wrote a blog post. I put pictures, I put links where you can go get these patterns. So keep that in mind. Go check out the blog post. Also, from Sew House 7, the Tabor V-neck sweater. And guys, I have been looking for a Simplicity pattern for quite some time. It's Simplicity 8950. It is a V-neck sweater, and that's why um, it's actually out of print. So it's not printed anymore, and I'm thinking, well, I should be able to find it in the drawers at Joann's, but that is not the case. All the patterns were purchased, and you can no longer find it. You can find it on Etsy, but I'm trying to stay away from Etsy because I go over there and they get me so good. So I went ahead and downloaded this pattern from Sew House 7. It's a tower sweater. Um, it has a really deep V neckline and it has a couple of different views. I think it has like five different views. I love that. Some short sleeves. It has dropped shoulders. It also has this really wide neck band. It has a thin neckband. I love it. And ladies, if you are busty like me, and if nobody's told you, V-necks are the way to go just because it elongates. It elongates um, the eye, just kind of like going up and down. So the V-neckline helps to give you a little bit more shape versus just a ton of shape at the top, right? So it helps you a little bit with proportions. Great pattern. I'm actually working on it right now and I'm hoping to be able to post some pictures um, on it on either Instagram or I'll come back next week and show you what I've made. Another great sweater. And guys, I made a so long for this one because I knew a lot of people were going to get tripped up by that neckline. The neckline is actually not hard to do. It is Butterick. B6858. This pattern came out last year in the fall as a dress. Um, I made the dress and I, I would say it like in a double knit and I didn't care for it as a double knit but I made the top in a fleece and I did a sew along for you so I'll put a link up to that and it is a great little top. Actually every time I wear that top to do another video Somebody is always posting in the comments, what pattern is that? Let me tell you guys, it's B6858. It is a great little pattern to have in the stash and very quick to make. If It, it has, I believe, two different um, views for the neckband, just like a crew neck, the usual, the usual way. And then it also has this really nice um, crisscross neckband. It is really nice. I love that sweater. I made it in a, um, in a fleece from Joann's. It is a little bit snug around my bust and it's also a little bit snug around my sleeves, but I love it just because it's nice. It keeps me warm. I can wear some stretchy pants and go about my day and I look put together. So B6858, get it. Another pattern that um and this one just came out this is from mccall's it is mccall's 8343 and of course if it weren't from tea from crumpets tea and sewing i would i would have passed this pattern completely like i usually do i see i see the new patterns and i'm like no hate everything don't like it but then eventually i come around but t brought up this pattern in one of her videos it's M8343. It is a, um, it's a zip up pattern, but it has some great little views in there. I was looking at view C. It's really nice. I'm thinking that you can make that um, either in a French terry, maybe like a sweatshirt fleece or a fleece. 
Um, it's really, really nice. I wonder if you can make it in a minky. I would have to kind of really check out the pattern. I have not gotten it yet. I didn't get it last weekend. Don't ask me why. I didn't. Um, but it's definitely one that I'm going to get. And here's another one. And it's very similar to this McCall's pattern. But this is Vogue 1833. It has a drop shoulder, which is different from the pattern that is previous. So something to keep in mind, if you have a drop shoulder, you can use a heavier um, a heavier knit, perhaps like a sweater knit. Um, whereas with something that's right at your shoulder, right? You have that shoulder seam. You don't want anything too bulky there just because you don't want to look like you're going to go to a football game and play it, right? So um, Vogue 1833 drop shoulder you have two different views one with like a short sleeve or a long sleeve and in vogue it says that you can use either wool flannel patent knit and i would suspect you can also use some sherpa so if you're looking to use some sherpa look at a little bit more casual perhaps on a sunday and if you are going to a soccer game like i am um this is a nice little pattern to have at the sash Another pattern that um, that you should guys check out, and this one's free. I always try to add some free patterns to the list in case you are new at this sewing thing and you're thinking, you know what, it would be nice to perhaps um, test out a designer, see how they do things, see how they, I like their patterns drafted. This is J. Lee 3896. It is a free download on their website. And guys, I'm gonna say this. I um, I like their patterns. I have been able to test out their patterns, try out their patterns, not test. Try out their patterns from the PDF and also printed patterns. They do a great job. Instructions are wonderful. Um, I've had questions with their patterns before just because, right? Like the seam allowance are, I think, like a quarter of an inch, what I'm not, which I'm like, whoa, that is, uh, that's that's tight, tight tolerances. But um, no, they answer to me. They answer all my questions. They're truly wonderful. So if you've never worked with AJ Lee pattern, definitely give it a give it a try. They do some really nice things. So, so again, J Lee, thirty eight ninety six, and this is a free pattern. On their side, it is a square, loose-shaped, um, fitting roll neck pattern with a drop shoulder. So again, great little pattern to have, and it's free. I also like the um, itch to stitch, and I wonder if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Is this Sibiu top? So it's a bat wing top. So again, your sleeves are longer bat wings with a cow neckline or a neckband and then you also have a button band and um shoulder inset option which is kind of fun love their patterns too actually i love their pdf patterns you just print the whole thing out and it it just goes together rather quickly and well i just think that itch to stitch is also a great pattern designer instructions are wonderful and I know um, a lot of other people here that do um, YouTube videos, we love them. So give it a try, guys. And I do know that they have those sales sometimes on Fridays, but just keep your eye out sometimes. If you don't want to pay full price for a pattern, just keep your eye out. I know a lot of these pattern designers have sales throughout the year. So, And how do you find out? You can either follow them on Instagram Sign up for the newsletter, right? You always get a little something with that. Here is another pattern. And this is the Sheridan sweater from Hey June Handmade. Love it. Very simple pattern. So again, if you are new at this sewing thing, great little pattern. They do an amazing job. I love the bishop sleeves on this pattern. Again, trying not to get a lot of sleeves, a lot of a, a lot of puff by the coat area, but definitely by the kind of like by shoulder area, right? But you have some beautiful bishop sleeves for this pattern. Just gives it a little something extra. 
And if you don't wanna buy this pattern because it's an indie pattern or perhaps it's budget prohibitive, I have another pattern for you, so stick along. But um, the Hey June Handmade, it is a wide turtleneck or a crew neck and then has an elasticated bishop sleeve. I don't care for elasticated, but I know how to change that fairly quickly on my end. Um, but again, another nice little pattern to have. Also, um, another pattern, it is Simplicity 9385. Um, and guys, I think I have that. Do I have that around here? No, I don't have that, but it's pretty darn similar to this pattern which I did a sew along on this top, and I think there's a couple of sew alongs around. That pattern has a couple of gathers by the sleeve, but if you don't like that, I mean, the light singularity is not obnoxious, puffy sleeves, it has a couple of gathers, but this is pretty darn close to the same thing. And this is a nice pattern to have in your stash. I don't believe this has gone out of print. It should not go out of print. This is a good one. So if you don't have this pattern, you should get it. And then I also wanted to talk about some honorable mentions, right? Some patterns that I've made. And for example, this pattern. And this pattern is no longer in print. It is Simplicity 8738. I don't know if any of you got it. It is an oversized sweater with drop shoulders and roll neckline. It's got a couple of different views like crew crew neck. Again, you can make it with two yards of fabric or a little more if you really want a long length. I made one for my daughter. She absolutely loved it. She doesn't like tight clothes. She likes things that are very loose on her. She's also 13 years old, so anything goes these days with her. Um, but this is a nice little pattern to have if you just want something pretty comfortable. Um, again, oversized, so no big deal with fitting or anything like that. And then another pattern. And I told you guys that on that Hey Jude um, Sheridan sweater, right? Those sleeves. And I found this pattern because, of course, J. Crew was sending me subliminal messages through Instagram. And like a dummy, I just click and go over there. But this is the picture that um, came up. And then another picture in green. And I'm like, oh, I really like that style, right? So, of course, nine times out of ten, if I'm looking for something that I saw ready to wear, I can find a pattern. I can find a pattern. It's out there. So, I found Butterick 6857. And... Sometimes I feel like I gotta talk to somebody over there at um, at the big four and say, perhaps you should find some other some other fabrics to work with. Sometimes they do a great job, and other times I'm like, what were you thinking? But um, this view right here, great little view, pretty darn similar to that Jake Crew sweater. And check out this view down here. I think that's view A. Looks pretty darn close to that Hey, hey June handmade um, pattern. You do have a placket with some buttons on the side, but that's a fairly easy thing to fix if you don't want those buttons on the um, a placket right there. And probably if I was doing that, I would not. Again, big broad shoulders girl over here. I don't need any extra stuff up there. But I'm thinking that I'll be making that pattern pretty soon. And um, then you should get it too. So again, that's Butterick 6857. It just came out last year in the fall. And, you know, I'm holding out to see if, um, if Butterick comes out with a fall collection. We shall see. Because what we saw was spring and, um, we saw spring and summer, but we haven't seen fall. And I'm trying not to get all excited to see if they come out with anything. So, but guys, what are your favorite patterns for sweaters, right? I'm trying to, again, now wear something with a ton of sleeves because it's a pain in the booty to put that in a coat. But um, let me know in the comments below if there are any 
tried and true patterns for sweaters that you have used again and again, even if it's indie, PDF, or um, even perhaps something that's out of print, I would love to know. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week.